Hey, what's up? This is Seehe and Cuddle, and for this video, I'm gonna talk about arm conditioning. Now, one of the misconceptions that we have about arm conditioning is that it's solely one thing, and that's just hitting the arm over and over. That's a huge part of it, but we're gonna break it down into three factors for this. It's going to be impact sustainability, tendon and muscle strength, and the moment of impact. All right, let's get to work. All right, so the first one we're gonna work on is impact sustainability. Now what that means is how strong your arm can take to impact. And one of the best methods is to hit it repeatedly over and over. So um, some companies have like an arm conditioning device like this, you can get bamboo or you can get metal. I've even seen somebody clip a bunch of coat hangers and then tie them all together. It does all the same thing. But it's nice because it fans out as you hit it. Now I would start light, increasing power over time, not in the same session, but going over the entire arm. This will get an overall good conditioning for the arm, but it lacks the actual moment of impact, the position of the arm, and also developing the muscles and whatnot. Okay, so the next part that we're going to work on is developing the forearms, well, actually, more importantly, the muscles and the tendons of the forearms. So uh, a lot of grip strengthening exercises. One of the staples for grip strength is the open and close exercise, which you guys can do on your own. I suggest getting up to about four minutes worth. But also being able to, taking a stick, and then an old method of training is thinking of wringing water out of the stick. So just position your hand and then grip as tight as you can and think of wringing water out of it, just like a dish rag. Do that for a little bit on each side, change directions, change the position of your hands, change directions, and you will actually develop a lot of grip strength. This is very important because at the moment of striking, you wanna be able to tense up the muscles and really deliver more impact back into your opponent's arm or to support your arm better. All right, the last thing that you need to work on is the moment of impact. So your arm may be very conditioned in all different areas, but you wanna be very efficient at the moment that you actually come into contact with an opponent's arm, whether blocking or striking, or if you're using it to actually strike the opponent. So practice one motion over and over until you actually get used to that moment of impact and getting all of the different facets together. All right, so there you go. If you work on those three facets of arm conditioning, you will have very, very strong and well-conditioned arms. You need to keep up with this training because you will lose it if you do it for a while and then give up on it for a little bit. You will lose a little bit of it, okay? So to keep your arms well-conditioned and combat ready, you always need to keep up with some conditioning. Till next time, this is Seehing Cuddle. Bam! Fist with a foe out.